Um, well, um, originally his brother had did time. He got out um, at the end of April, beginning of May. We went down to um, visit him in July to come out to find out that he located his children and he needed one of them to come with us. Right. You know, so at this time it was going to be a temporary thing, you know. Son coming with us, mm -hmm, we're going to take care of him for yeah. a little bit while he got his life together. Um, October 29th came around. Um, his brother is one of those people, we talk, if you haven't heard from him, nobody in the family have heard from him, so we were all concerned. So, yeah. So, um, October 29th came, that was the last anyone ever heard from him, and by the time we know he was missing for about 30 days, mm -hmm. we, um, actually traveled back and forth from Colorado to San Antonio, um, I was with him when we were searching for him. You know, me and him are going through the backwoods. We're looking under rivers. We're in the woods and just having to make missing pe people's reports. Right, right. And they had his body the whole time. The police, the police. The coroner's office had the body the whole time. The whole time while we were searching. Did they not know who he was? Was he unidentified or? Well, he, well at the end of the day, he's a federal parolee. As soon as you ran his prints, you knew who you he was. You knew who he was. <laughs> you know. And nobody was notified. No one was notified until I'm 30 so, days later. I'm so, so very sorry.